Malia is a Muay Thai fighter and she has been training for almost three years. However, after her first fight two months ago, she has had intense pain throughout the neck and shoulder, which has been getting worse with subsequent sparring and training, especially during clinching. The only relief Emilia has gotten is through sports massages and some physical therapy. However, her cycle of inflammation and pain has not gone away and only seems to be getting worse. During the initial assessment, we found that the muscles in the back of her neck were tender to touch, particularly in cervical flexion positions. Also, Emilia's neck extension and rotation strength was extremely weak, especially during the end range of neck flexion. This is a major problem, because in order to maintain and get out of a clinch, it requires a ton of end range neck extension strength. But she's already feeling pain even with just a few pounds of downward pressure. So instead of mindlessly giving her neck stretches and generic strengthening exercises, we focus on finding the root cause of her problems and reverse it with deliberate hands-on techniques and specific exercise progressions. After taking a closer look at the cause of her neck pain and tightness, we found that the mid and lower cervical spine segments were very unstable. This would explain why her neck and shoulder muscles tighten up quickly since they're trying to compensate for this instability. In order to get her back training at 100% intensity without pain, we've broken down Emilia's rehab into three phases. During the first phase, we release and decompress her cervical spine using joint glides to the middle segments on top of the lower segments and release tight and overactive tissues using myofascial and trigger release techniques. This allows us to activate weak muscles in the neck and scapulas to introduce functional stability. Then, we can go to the second phase, where we introduce progressive loading to these recently activated tissues. Some of these exercises include prone cervical extension holds, scapula focused rows, and wide pulses. Once she's able to clear baseline strength and stability, we then transition to phase three of her rehab, where we reintegrate her movement patterns into fight specific mechanics so that she can focus on becoming a better Muay Thai fighter rather than worrying about injury.